Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper, and today we're going to play around a little bit. I have some glitter paper here, and this is just the regular um, silver color, and it comes with two sheets, and I have cut out a strip because I want to play with this today. I want to see how we can color it. So I've got some markers, I've got some Stampin' Blends, and... I have the brush out because I enjoy playing with that. And then I have the um, little light bulb punch because I think if we could get these colored, they would make really pretty sparkly um, light bulbs. So let's go ahead and try. We're gonna try with just the basic first and we're gonna go with some uh, just regular markers. Like um, most people have some type of marker, right? So I'm just gonna go through, we're gonna start over here, and it looks like that is working really nice. So we can get all the different colors that we want. And I think that's good. So look at that. It's nice and sparkly. Let's punch it out and see how it works. Did I do it? Ooh, oh, and then look, I have this silver up here. And that silver is going to punch out real nice too. So now I have a little silver and I have this pretty sparkly light bulb. Okay, we're gonna save these because I'm gonna make a card because that's obviously working. Um, okay, th so that was the markers. So I've got all the different colors of markers that would go with light bulbs. And then same thing here um, with the alcohol markers. So let's try a green. I'm gonna use the other side. Oh, those work. Look at that. Let's see some of the others. Let's go with a blue. Oh, there we go. Really nice. And let's do a yellow here. I'm just going to do one of all these colors because this, the little um, alcohol markers, the uh, Stampin' Blends, they're working really nice. So let's get an orange out of here. Now, let me see if I made them long enough. That's the only thing. I might not have made them long enough here. Okay, the green is long enough. And I get another little silver piece out of that. The blue is just long enough. Another little silver piece. So glad that I decided to try this with you guys. I wasn't sure if I wanted to try it and then just make a card or just have you guys stamp along with me and see. But I've had so many of you guys tell me that you like it when I just fly by the seat of my pants, so that's what we're doing. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. Now I'm gonna just cut this off. We're gonna try the brush -o. And for the brush -o, I think what I'm gonna do, I don't wanna like ruin this and I don't know how it's gonna work. So, let's see. Let me get my little box so I don't get overspray everywhere. And I don't need this because I'm going to do the whole thing. But let's try the brush show and see how it works. Actually, I think I'm going to 
See, when I start moving things around, that's when I get in trouble. I think I'm going to do a couple. Well, let's try the first one. Let's do some red here. Now, if you didn't see my brush show opening and how to use it, um, you just cut three holes in it. And then I put some washi on here, and that is what keeps those holes nice and closed. And then we've got that on there. And we are going to spritz this. Now this isn't watercolor paper, so I don't know exactly how this is going to work. But let me get out my handy dandy baby wipe to wipe all this mess up and I've already dyed my fingers so you guys when you play with it know that you're going to get dyed fingers because this is basically watercolor in powder form nope that picked it right back up so, I don't know that this is going to work. Let me see. I'm going to spray it again. There's a little bit that I want out of there. That's why I put so much water. But... I am not in the mood to have my hands completely messed up and oh look that's starting to come apart okay so this is what we're learning this is why we do this I'm gonna get this so it's, my box isn't all wet yep and then as soon as I touch it it just goes away so I'm so glad that we only tried a little bit of it. brush -O does not work on the glimmer paper. So, All right, that was a good test. But you guys, this does work. Look at that. So the Stampin' Blends work, the alcohol markers work, and the whew, regular markers work. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this um, Night of Navy Blue and see if that gives me... I really like this blue, don't get me wrong, but we're going to see what this Night of Navy does. Yeah. See, we're. this is why we try. That way you guys know what works and what doesn't because that is coming out like black. I don't like it, but we're going to punch it out anyway. I mean, it would work great for, like, maybe Halloween or... It's actually very pretty, but it's more of a, a, a silver. Like, um, not... Uh, is it silver? Yeah, I guess... I guess so, because this is like a white glimmer, and this is like a silver glimmer. So it's actually really, really pretty. I like it, but I don't think I like it for... A Christmas light I think I would just do it a plain white but we're not going to I mean it, it looks nice it does actually if I need it I guess I would do it look how pretty these are so pretty okay let's make a card we got it out right I was not prepared, so um, let me see here. I've got the pear pizzazz from yesterday, so we could do that. I'm going to clean all these up for a moment and work on the card. Remember that I stuck those there because I know that I'll be asking you shortly. So let me just measure this up real quick, make sure we've got a five and a half by eight 
and a half. Okay, perfect. So with that, when we have a five and a half by eight and a half, I just need to take this and score it right at four and a quarter and we'll have a card base. So remember, this is my scoring side. I don't need to cut that as of yet, but it gives me a perfect score. And now I can just easily score that and then get my bone folder out. This is my dirty bone folder. This is the one I use to put um, ink when I'm re-inking my pads, can you tell? <laughs> so it is it is bone, so it, um, it has pores, so it stains, so. But it works great, and you can see the ink doesn't come off at all. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So we've got this. We're just putting all our pieces together. Let me see. Do we want to do like a red and then have these? I, I don't think so. I don't. You know what I think? I think I'm actually going to use... Uh, let me see. We're just playing, we're just playing. I don't know. Do I need? Yeah, I wanna put a layer, but I'm not sure what type of layer I wanna put on there. Maybe, just maybe, it's gonna be a white layer. I think so, let me get my Whisper White out. And knowing that we have the um, those other measurements already, I'm going to move that out of the way and get my cutting one down. Uh, so we're at four and a quarter, so we can move this to four. Actually, I'm going to. This is the longer side, so we were at five and a half, so I'm going to move that to five and a quarter. See, I did it that way so I have more paper. I could use this again. Just trying to think of my best. And then we're gonna go here, and it was a four and a quarter, so we're gonna take a quarter inch and put it at four. And then while I have this, and I already know that it's cut um, down, I'm just gonna make another, another one for another card at some point. So that saves me cutting in the future. Okay, so we've got that. Now, oh, I just happen to have all this out from yesterday. <laughs> Let's see, we've already done one of these cards. Let's go ahead and do these. Um, making Everyday Bright. And I'm trying to use the stuff that is in the uh, holiday catalog right now. And the reason being is because um, you only have this month to order. If you want to get this set, either of these sets here, it's in the holiday catalog. So you'll want to order those um, in December. I know it's Christmas, but if you want it, now's the time. So that's why I'm why I'm using it so much. Plus, I'm making my Christmas cards. <laughs> so it works out well. I'm going to use the Memento Black because it is my favorite. And I love that you could see through and see that you've got everything inked up there. And I'm going to go off the page. I'm going to have this part in the middle there. There we go. And then I'm going to ink it up again. And because you can see right through, 
I just need to line up these two little parts. There we go. So now I have one consistent. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. But we can get rid of one because um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to use that that silver one anyway. But so keep that in mind, you guys. Knight of Navy turns into a really pretty silver. Oh, this is my um, chamois, and then I just put it in a case, and it is moist there. Sorry for those of you that don't like that word. I don't like it, but sometimes it's the only time you can use it. Okay, let me put this away while it's clean. We are flying by the seat of our pants on this one, you guys, because I have no idea what I'm doing. So let's let's do this. I have already I don't know if these are going to sparkle the way I want them to. We're going to try it. That's what we're doing. I have to remember this. We are trying stuff. So I'm going to get out the sparkle. I'm going to put these down where I'd like them. So this will go there. And then this will go right about there. Okay, so I know exactly where I need a roundabout. These are so pretty. And I'm putting these here. Why am I putting them here? Because I want to put this down, but I'm not going to um, stamp because this has such a pretty color, but I want to know where to put this. Okay. So I want my colors to match up. Let me just see how that would look. Look at that. That is really pretty. I want my colors, I want my shine to match up with the right colors. So that's why I played around with this. So let's go ahead and put, I don't even know if this will work, you guys. I've never used the blends or the blend abilities. Um, to see if it would dry. See, yeah, it does. It dries way too fast. Okay, so we're going to use the um, the marker. I may have just stained this. We will see. Let me see. I'm going to use a baby wipe and see here. Yeah. Okay, so we're learning. You guys are learning from me. Don't use the blend abilities. And I probably should have learned this from somebody else because I'm sure another stamper found this out right away and told everybody. But um, the alcohol markers do stain that. But the good thing is, is it's not coming off anywhere. So you're good to go. So we're not going to do that. But we are going to do this. We'll just use our markers. And we'll check that out. Yeah, that'll work. So we'll use our marker. We'll go over here to that pretty yellow. And 
And there we go. We've got a nice yellow glow on that one. I'm just going to mark the, or wipe off the yellow. Next one, we'll do a red. And you could always um, use markers, especially if you want to color something like, um, let's say you wanted to only color a piece of something. Um, like, let me show you. So let's say you wanted to color this little penguin and you want him to be in black, but you want his um, hat to be in like red. So you would take your stamp, you would color the hat in red marker, you would color the penguin in your black marker, then you have all your ink on there and what they do or we do or you can do <laughs> is what's called huffing and you literally take it and you br blow but not like not like you're blowing a bubble more like you're breathing on somebody and you're actually breathing on the stamp so you go <sighs> like that and it re like hydrates any ink that may have started to, um, you know, uh, dry out a little bit. So, like if I were to do this and then there was a doorbell ring or something like that, that's probably too long. I would, I would say, I would say huff and make them wait at the doorbell. <laughs> but, um, no, but like say you put it down and you're talking for a little while and then you come back and then you like that right onto your stamp and then it rehydrates it and you're good to go. That one and that one look very similar. And we've got some blue and some green. I don't know, I don't think I have the, the blue really. I might not have thought this out real well. We'll see. I mean these are all darker so we can go with <laughs> darker colors, right? Why not? Okay, I was a little worried I did something there, but I just moved this, so we're good. And that looks fine. You can really tell what colors they are by adding that. So it came off a little bit. I'm not sure what's going on. Woo! doesn't want to be sticky. There we go. Huh. It just needed to dry back up. And then the last one, this is the one that's going to make or break us, you guys, because this one is definitely a lot darker than the one that is on. But, I mean, light does that, right? It takes those dark um, colors, and when you put it on, it, it makes it glow. So that's what we're doing. We're just making it glow. Line that up where I want it. There we go. All right, between the red and the yellow, I have given this little guy some well-deserved love. And I think we're done with that stamping there, but we want to have some words. So I'm going to move these back out of the way here. And let's see what words we want to use. 
How about this Friends Make the Season Shine? Move it over here because let me tell you what I'm noticing on this. I'm seeing that my lights are all the way over here and not all the way over here. So I didn't get it perfectly centered is my issue. So I am going to take some string and put it along this side and I'm going to make this into a little tag that kind of hangs. So let's work on that. Okay, it's just going to be a minute. I'll throw this on my um, paper pumpkin block. And let me show you. Here, where's my whisper white? I know that I want to do whisper white, and I'm going to show you how I... Um, maybe I will show you. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to show you how I uh, keep my papers. So I keep them all in a folder, and I have a whole entire like hanging rack of these folders. And you can see how it's kind of wonky there. That's because I keep all of my strips, my leftovers, in here. So when I need them, I have them. So like this, I think this piece will fit, yep. So that's how I use, and then I have it just labeled Whisper White, and then I have a new packet in there if I need it. And so just thought I'd share with you how I store my stuff and how I always have these extra little pieces. And what we're going to do is go back to our Versamark. And I'm just going to choose a color here. Let me see. I was going to do silver, but I don't know how much silver would show up. So I think we'll just do a black. And I don't want anything to stick, and so I'm remembering to do my embossing buddy here. And you just rub this. It's got a little bit of like some type of talc or something in there that makes it not stick. So we're going to take this guy. And it's not all lined up, but that's okay. It fits, and that's all that matters. And I could see through it. So we're good. This piece worked out perfectly. And again, this is Ver Versamark, so it stays wet. So I have time to clean this all off. Um and not have to be really, really quick. If I were just using regular ink, you would wanna be really quick on that. So I just take my um, embossing powder and put it in one of the Tupperware type things. I, I don't know what this is from, but it's probably from the Dollar Tree, if you know me. So I'm gonna stick this on here, and then that way, you don't have to play around with trying to get it back into that bottle. And if you see some parts that you may have missed, you're good. I'm just blowing it off. See if there's any parts. And it looks like there's a little part right here that does not want to pick up real well. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that one. I don't like it. 
So this is what we're going to do. We're going to flip it over. And I'm just going to take a brush and brush this off and get that powder back in there. Because, you guys, let me tell you something. There's two sides to every piece of paper. And so I'm going to use this side. So, all right, we're going to do this again. And this is the stuff that happens, you guys. This happens when you are hand crafting. So don't be afraid if little things like that happen. Flip the paper over, get this nice and juicy, and do it again. I didn't use the um, embossing buddy this time because I've been having okay luck. Oh no! <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I might be searching for another piece of paper. <laughs> hmm. Uh, <laughs> okay, we're going to be okay. This came out rather nice. Okay, let's do this, you guys. I'm going to show you. I did not mess up on purpose, but I've got one of these um, brushes. It's brand new. So we're just going to go through and wipe off all these areas that we kind of goofed up on. We could just start all over again, but I'm, I just want to show you guys how you can clean up little, um, little issues. So Stanley is barking because he hears another dog barking. Stanley, you're okay. So let me throw this back in here. Flick that off, and then um, there we go. So I'm just taking off some of the this. Um, you may want to just start all over again, but for me, I like to do like I love to solve little issues. So when I have a little issue like this, it is actually fun for me. So I do this kind of stuff. Sorry if I'm boring you, but to me, this is fun. And I want to show you that you could really get this um, nice and cleaned up. As long as my hands don't take off and, you know, do something crazy. So we're almost done. Almost. I'm just cleaning my brush off here. Okay, I think we're good. I did take off a little bit right here. And so for me, I'm okay with it. But let's say I wasn't okay with it. Let's just go ahead and we can remove that line altogether if we wanted to. And then We'll fix it up. So, I know this is going to be a little bit of a long video, but um, most of you have said you like the chattiness, so we're going to give you chattiness because that gives you guys time to do your crafting as well. I love that you guys are crafting alongside of me. Okay. We're done. I'm going to cover this back up and put it away because I don't want the heat to get to it at all because it'll actually, one, if I don't put the lid back on, blow everywhere, and two, it could start to melt if that heat gets to it. 
So I'm gonna grab my embossing tool here and turn it on. We're letting it get hot. So while that's getting hot, I'm just gonna put this guy away. And it's already starting to heat up, I can feel that. So just gonna hold it there. And you guys, this is the fun part. So let's watch it change. I wish I had it closer. Can you see that change and get shiny? I love it. I love working with embossing powder. There we go. See, I went and made these things go all over the place. That's what I get. So, okay, I think that'll work. So I'm gonna cut this just using some scissors here and I'm gonna cut it right here. And then I am also gonna cut right up the side here and make a long tail. And then I have this piece. See what we're doing here? I don't know if this will be fit. I think it's a little too large. We're just getting barely there. Okay. So what we're gonna do. Oh, sorry about that. I'm going to cut this down a little bit. take a really teeny tiny piece off so I'm just taking about that much off and I'm actually using I don't know if you can see it but this little grid is how I know how much I'm taking off and then I'm gonna do the same on this side I'm gonna hold it up to that grid and I don't want to go against this tail so I'm gonna go down and I need to hold this rather tightly. There we go. So now it went a little bit smaller. I could still go even a little bit smaller if I wanted to. Shall we do that and give it a little bit more glimmer? I think we're good. Yep. That works. Okay, so we've cut that down. And you guys could see, see where I took that off? We're gonna put a little um, glimmer there. So we're gonna still be okay. And then I'm gonna take this and I wanna get a little border again. So we're gonna go here. And I think that'll give me a nice border. Still keep these, cause you might need it for something. Knowing me, I'll need it to, um, there we go. Oh, so pretty. Uh, anyways, I'll need it to punch out a new little one of these guys because I think I blew it. Like, literally blew it off to another desk, so. Okay. So I want that border to go all the way around. So I'm going to come right here. And we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go up. And then this way. Look at that. That is so pretty. And then I'm also going to save this little piece. I'm going to save the whole thing all together so I have something to hold if I need it. Okay. So 
So we've got that very pretty. Let's go ahead and give a little hole punch on here. And I think I'm gonna just use a nice big hole punch. I'm looking over to see what ribbon I might have that'll go with this. And I think we could use like a black. I'll see. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use a big hole punch. There we go. And then let's put some tape runner on here. Line up those holes. Line this up here. There we go. Perfect. All right. Let us start putting this guy together. I think we want that on there. Oh, but first I need to put that um, ribbon around it. So let me look real quick. Oh, I've got this. Oh, no. What am I going to do? I've got two things, guys. I've got this. What is this? Stitched edge ribbon would look really nice. Oh, I also have this it would look really good too this is um sequins we should go with sequins right tell me that's what we should do that would be pretty that would be really pretty could you tie the sequins in a knot we're gonna find out That's using a lot of sequins. Huh. I'm, I, I am a hoarder when it comes to these kind of things. I am. But it's cut now. That's what we're doing. And I'm going to come over here. And just kind of tie a little knot. I hope this ties well. It ties well enough. It does. So we've got the little sequins going on. And then we don't want it to be moving around. So I'm going to um, just tape it down. And what did I do with my runner? Who sees it? Who sees my tape? Anybody? Did I stick it somewhere? What did I do with it? This might be it. Okay, so I want tape all along here anyway. But I want it on the edge and I want it on um, this guy because I want it all to stick down. And then I'm going to bring this and line it up. You guys, how long is this video? Oh my goodness. And this is fine. This is working well. I don't have a problem with it. But we are going to stick this guy on here. 
So stick that through. And I don't think I could really tie a bow with this, can I? Let's see. You can. Oh yeah, you can. That's cute. The bow will stay tied and then we will put some of our handy dandy favorites on here. I'll just move this. And put a couple dimensionals on there. And my tool, my take your pick tool, I used it last night. Took it to a stamping party. Took it to a stamping party. And it is put away. So I can't use that right this minute because it is out um, in the other room. So I'm going to tie that a little tight there and put it up and down. And then we're going to put one of these little guys on here. And again, oh, I wish I had that stamping tool. See there? See how that covered up that little error? No problem. Looks like it's supposed to be there. And you could have put a little red dot on there as well if you wanted to. A little bow could have been on there. That would have been cute. That little bow. Uh, but it's okay. I don't have that bright red on here at all. So now, let's put all these little guys And I, of course, also have my mini dimensionals there. So <laughs> this is what we're gonna do. We're going to put these on here. That was the green, I believe. I love these colors, I really. All this because I wanted to test out um, coloring that glimmer paper. Oh, this was yellow. This is that orange. All of these have actual names. I just, I, I forget them, to be quite honest. How pretty is this? Okay, and then we need to put these little guys on here. So I'm going to look. Oh, you guys. I'm going to get out um, my fine tip glue pen. I haven't used that in a long time. In fact, this might be a brand new one. Let's try it and see. Yep. So we want to put these little pretty silvers on each of them. But first, let's put these down. We're going to put them just above the shine like that. go. I'm telling you, that little tool, you get used to it. <laughs> and again, 
if you haven't seen me make anything with these, I line up this part of where I want it and then stick the rest of it down. It just, for me, it's easier than trying to like get it down there. I just stick this where I want it. And that one I put too high. So we're gonna go a little bit lower. There we go. Now, I'm gonna put a glue, a dot. Oh. On each of these. And I'm going to wipe this off. And there's a little um, needle that goes right in there because you don't want anything to get clogged on the, such a teeny tiny fine like that. So I'm going to stick these down. On all of them. Actually, this one has a little bit of red. So I'm going to move that over. So pretty. I wanted to try this with um, silver paper, and I was looking for my silver paper and saw this glitter. So, ah, I wet my hand. All right, so we've got that. Is that so pretty? Now I'm really upset with this little guy. So let me show you how we fix something like that. When those kind of issues happen, we get out some little dots that match. <laughs> so I'm going to go with these green, and we're just going to cover it up. We're going to put... Uh, let's see. Where's that tool? I need that tool so bad. I might have to go grab it if I continue crafting. Look at that. Covered it up. And then when you do put these down, you want to put them down. What did I do? Touch this whole entire card? Uh, when you do put them down, put them down in like threes or fives. There we go. So we've got this really pretty card. I hope you like it. Look at it. Ooh, so shimmery. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up. And thank you guys for lasting this whole entire time. Um, you know why? Look at that beautiful glitter paper. And as you know, we believe in the power of glitter. So... All right, have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. If you decide to order anything that I'm using or anything else, um, please use this hostess code up until December 15th. I would appreciate it. All right, have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!